guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to start my christmas collection and i'll show you guys along the way but my studio is looking very untidy and so what i'm going to do that's just my garbage can but what i'm going to do is hopefully make it a bit more presentable so give me a second okay there's still a lot of work that has to be done but this is kind of what i have done so far which is not much but um basically what did i do oh i refilled the crinkle paper so i did the ivory one and then my christmas crinkle paper it was a bit low so i just went to my storage area and did that the other thing is i am working on my christmas collection so this area is filled with like green and red toys i personally don't celebrate christmas um it's not a holiday that I celebrate, but I know a lot of people do, um, and it's one of the busiest year. So yeah, I make Christmas toys. Um, I am planning to do a winter collection. I do celebrate New Year's. I know there's other holidays around like this time that a lot of people celebrate. For me, Christmas isn't one of them. I don't really care for the colors of bird toys, to be honest. A lot of bird shops will do Christmas toys, and I'll just get Christmas toys for my birds. That's before I started my own uh, toy business. But even now, I'll see toys that I really like and I'll just buy it. Like, I don't care if it's the color green and red. It doesn't really signify. I mean, for many people, it's going to signify Christmas. For me, it's just red and green. Um, I don't really... Is that, it, Hopefully, it doesn't sound offensive. But some people, they won't get a specific toy because it's Christmas. Because they don't celebrate Christmas. And for me, I just don't have that kind of complex... I just look at it as like the col the color green and red. This is the same for Halloween. I don't celebrate Halloween. To be fair, I do give out candies when kids come, but I don't celebrate it myself per se. Uh, so if there are Halloween bird toys for my birds, I just buy it. Like I don't really care for it. But I wanted to show you guys um, the balsa cutouts that I made. So first, wait, where's my other ones that I want to show you? Okay, so this side hopefully this isn't like very dizzy for you guys but these are the ones that i have my manufacturer do for me they are illustrations that i do myself so here's a close-up they are pine wood um the reason is not because my laser machine can't do it but i i don't know if i've mentioned this i still can't find pine sheets that's very different than balsa sheets balsa sheets are everywhere like you could buy them wholesale um it's easy to find um but not pine sheets and this is the only manufacturer that i know that um has pine sheets they don't sell pine sheets they do like the cutouts and their minimum requirement is 300 pieces which is kind of interesting it is normally a lot because i'm not selling 300 <laughs> Like, I did sell quite a bit, but not 300 of a single design. So, this is one of them. It's like a stocking. I wanted a hole. And pretty much, I draw them on Procreate. And then, I'll put it on Canva, which is weird, maybe, for some people. It's just easier for me on Canva to do, like, text. Uh, whereas, Procreate, I don't know. I, 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 the text version, like, anyone who used Procreate will know. It's, I just find it a bit harder. So, I'll... I'll just tell them like uh, this is a cut file, the inside of the scoring and then the middle part in this specific case would be another cut. So I just give that and there's 300 over here. Well not quite because I already dyed so I'm using food color. And then this is the other one that I also drew. This is just a Christmas tree. Um, previous years I did have a Christmas tree. I don't know if I'll have an image of it. Uh, probably not the cut file, but like I'll try finding a toy that has the Christmas tree. It's a bit more different. Um, this is, I don't know, it's a bit more plain. Um, if you are going, like in my case, these are like two inches. It's sometimes a bit better to go a bit more plain because it's just easier. But yeah, that is very different than these. These I do it on my laser machine. Now, um, the process of me doing it on my laser machine, it's a bit more complex. I'm gonna make it really quick. I draw on Procreate. I airdrop it on my iMac. On my iMac, because on Procreate they don't have SVG files, I'll just transport it as a PNG file. And then I will use Inkscape and then make the file an 
SVG file. From there, I will go because the SVG file. I think I already explained this. It allows you to uh, like decide which one's gonna be the cut, which one's going to be the scoring, which is like the uh, stuff inside, pretty much. Um, and then there's engraving. A lot of people confuse scoring, which this was totally me. They confuse scoring with engraving. They're different. So in this case, this is scoring. And also, for instance, you know how there's a bit of an outline. Before I used to not do an outline because with my X tool, which is the laser machine that I use, they didn't have the uh, outline tool initially, or at least I couldn't find it. I didn't know about it. But now I prefer the outline. It looks a bit more, I feel like, cute. See? Whereas before I didn't have the outline. So I'll show you what, it, what I mean by that. So as you can see, there's like a bit of a white border. And then on that white border, I do a cut file. But over here, let's just show this. This one doesn't have that white border. So it's not that it's bad, but I think you guys could understand what I'm saying. I feel like it's a bit more cuter. Anyway, these are the illustrations uh, illustrations that I drew, and they look so cute. I honestly love them. Um, now, I know before someone's going to ask, like, just, you know, off the bat, I'll just answer it. Um, with these, oh, I think I have one more. Wait, where is my other ones? Okay, so... For instance, I'll show you guys this. For instance, with this, I just have um, brown food coloring mixed with water. I know some people have done isopropyl alcohol, whatever, um, or rubbing alcohol. Uh, I don't like, I don't really care for it. I don't really found a difference. I just use water. I have tried it. Um, honestly, I see, I have seen no difference. So. I know some people swear by it. I don't know if this is because I use really high quality food coloring. So I don't really notice a difference between that and isopropyl. I think it's just a waste of money and it's added cost. In my case, I do use a mirror color. A Mary color, yeah. Um, and sometimes I'll use Anne Clark. So for this brown color, I have used Anne, Anne Clark. And the same is for this one. I did add a, a touch of pumpkin food coloring um it's just the same food coloring rate where's my pumpkin one? Oh, i don't know where i put it oh okay sorry guys <laughs> i put it here <laughs> like where's my pumpkin food coloring okay so basically this is what the pumpkin color looks it adds a bit of an orange but it's like a burnt orange and they do have also a burnt orange color but yeah that's what i did for these and for this um people have been asking me how i do it honestly it's it's so simple i literally use a tiny dot like a little tiny dot and i will just put like 20 times more water than that tiny dot and then i just mix it it's seriously the same process of like coloring these but the only difference is i use like you know i don't use acrylic paint but you know those acrylic plastic um paint stuff I got it from the dollar store fresh and then I, I got the paint brushes obviously fresh none of them are acrylic but I just mix it and yes I do it one by one so sometimes because um, if you didn't know also wood is very absorbent it's not the same as like oops <laughs> it's not sorry guys I have to pick it up uh, it's not the same as like pine wood so pine wood it's it's harder to um, paint if that like these are better for like dunking the wood if that makes sense whereas balsa you need when i'm painting it like in this kind of case if i want to get like all artistic you do have a slight bit of chance let me see if i could do a close-up you do have a slight bit of chance of it you know bleeding and it's not completely unavoidable it does happen um and there's really not much i don't really think it affects it aesthetically I do it one by one it does take so you can see like a tiny bit like the brown bleeds now before anyone asks I'll also answer the question can you use like the marker ones they are edible like food coloring markers uh, I don't to be they're they're safe for human consumption the question is are they safe for birds because technically avocado safe for birds they're not safe for parrots right so I, 
my only issue with the marker edible markers because someone has asked me that instead of doing it like my way like mixing it it doesn't even have to be like that acrylic i don't have it beside me you know those like i'll show a picture of it guys um the only co uh, concern i have with those is that i don't know exactly what ink they use i don't know the percentage that they have been using because in my case i'll just use like i said a lot of people will do 115 ratio or like 120 ratio hopefully this makes sense so if i like i said was trying to mention like how i do a tiny dot of like let's say brown or even green because there's a bit of green there <laughs> but let's say a tiny dot of brown i will have to use 20 times the water just to i don't know why that ratio is that it is but that's just what i do or or you know i don't know I, that's just the ratio that i have been finding online um so obviously for these i need a very tiny small amount but it works um and i know it's for sure food coloring the brand that i trust and i know for sure it's water now with those edible markers that you could find like on amazon and stuff there's two problems one i don't know the ratios is it gonna be deadly i don't know to be, like that's what i'm telling you like i literally don't know the other concern is that they're very pigmented i honestly don't even think that that they're that good it's so much easier if you go to amazon and like get those food coloring packs and then doing it yourself like and i know a lot of people don't have laser machines but um they'll do something like this i think this is why they're asking like let's say they have like a square blank balsa they want to do like dots like let's say in this case if we were to give like the christmas example i might actually do this like um a spot use like a you know those very plasticky sponges like circle dots of green and red honestly just do just do what i've been telling you like don't use the marker don't do like a and it's gonna take forever too like right? just use a paintbrush you could also use those sponges they and don't you don't need to get fancy just go to the dollar store like they're there <laughs> you don't need like some high expensive tools like they're gonna do the same thing so there's that my two cents on it but yeah i have been working and now i'm gonna show you guys something that i got oh let me show this. I keep this here. Thank you, Merica. So, Merica's a very nice friend of mine. She gave me that. It's so cute. I put it here. Look at it. It looks exactly like Blossom because Blossom... Ooh, sorry. Blossom has gray. If you guys didn't know, Muffin has no gray. So, this one looks exactly like Blossom and I love it. It's so cute. I keep it there. It looks so beautiful on my photo. Look at it adorable and yes it is raining so if you guys are hearing the rain that's the reason why <laughs> so i wanted to show you guys this now i got this from amazon and i'm not gonna gatekeep so i will put the link for it but i might buy one more just in case hopefully it doesn't sell out because like literally i have been using it anyway i have two of this one of it is downstairs and then this is the one i have it's about 70 bucks so there's like six sections and what i love about it is that you could turn it so this doesn't take a lot of space in my toy storage area which in this video i almost never show it but to be honest i did kind of clean that area up a little bit so i'm just gonna kind of flex and show you guys what my area looks like now as you can see there's a lot of christmasy stuff here because i'm working on it but then uh i do want to show this just because down the line i do enjoy watching my youtube videos and i know there's only very few quantities of this and it's gonna sell out this was my fox design so that's what i kind of mean by like a slight bleeding um on the bird like at, with this one you just see it on the corners outline here it's not really that noticeable but here you see it a bit over there um and that's not really completely avoidable but anyway i have one two, there's four and after this i won't be restocking i just put this here just temporarily because i am going to take it downstairs and put it where my autumnal toys there but the rest are Christmassy and I made so many of this because oh my god okay so just a heads up I had to squat a little bit <laughs> but just a heads up to anyone who makes bird toys using this <laughs> it's gonna sound a bit like a rant um there's 14 and I'll, I'll be honest I'm never gonna do something like this never say never who knows I might still give it another shot but they take forever to dry um I think they're worse than Sola so anyone who has worked with solar wood 
or not solar wood, like solar, well they are technically, some people call it solar wood. But what, what's so annoying is that the inner parts did not dry completely. I mean right now obviously they're dried up. Um, they took how many days? Like three days. I'm not even kidding you. Um, so I didn't think that it would take that long. Now I have, where's my corn husks? These are corn husks too. Sorry, I couldn't speak. They're just like a different style. So these are like the ones that I used to dye. And they do take long. So I don't know if I have like a pink one. I should. Sorry, I dropped that. I'll pick that up. But that's like what they look like. I feel like I dropped something. Oh yeah, I did. One sec, guys. So this is what they look like. And that did take like a day and a half and stuff. So I did not say, uh, think that these would take that long. They take forever. So if anyone wants to be fancy and dye these, I don't know. Like... I don't know because I was like seriously day three so they did take forever to dry up but essentially it's like a wreath here it is um and then once it dried up I made these there's 14 of it um and then after that obviously I'm not going to be restocking them and then so I'll, before I get to the swings I'll show you guys my slightly older design so these I'm keeping on my shop um, you people have been already buying it. I had like 10 around July August is when they actually started Kind of getting buyers again that typically happens um, Some people live in Asia. It takes a while for toys to come or like in the UK So they will order ahead of time uh, So that was the one toy. I think I have a few more downstairs if I could find it I'll show it to you guys. This is the one toy. I'm not gonna do it again. I am uncertain of this toy um a lot of people did like it but I am uncertain of it and then this is the other one I don't know I don't think so I will recreate it but we'll see it's a simple toy I might just leave it so these are the new swings I do have two more swings I'll show you guys that in a bit these are acrylic beads um so yeah this is what they look like um Someone was asking me like if they were painted with like unsafe paint and stuff. No, these are these are the new ones that came out. So I did get them. Um, apparently, like they're new. But yeah, this is what they look like. But they are 100% acrylic. Um, I did get a small batch because like sometimes when you're working with suppliers, they will say something is something and then you get it. But then it's not what they said it was. So I only got like a small batch. Just to see um, if it was really acrylic beads because those are safe for smaller species and they are. Essentially, I think you guys are more familiar with seeing one of my bird toys that have them. Let me show you guys that. It's not, I'm not going to really show you guys the bird toys. When I go downstairs, I will, but this is, it's essentially the same as this. These are all acrylic. I do use these like, oops, I dropped something again. But I do use these bears and like these flower beads and like these pony beads these are all acrylic they're just different colors so the ones you guys are seeing at the bottom they're acrylic they're just Christmassy colors that I got so I showed you guys that this just in case some people still don't like it this is like the wooden version so I do have this as an option the other toy I made it's gonna be really simple and I plan on putting this I really like it um so yeah i'm not done all with my christmas toys these are just few i think this is like only like i only have like two toys technically three one two and then this is the other one it's just like this and it's double sided i love this one i didn't think it would turn out to be honest this good and i might be self praising a bit but like i really loved how that one turned out and then let me turn this this is very similar to the one I did for autumn. Not very similar because then, yeah, yeah, it's actually not similar because this one has pine cones and mahogany pods. Now, I really liked how this one turned out. I was, I had um, pine cones for a while, but I didn't really know how to make use of it. And obviously, since it's festive season and mahogany pods, I just feel like it suits the vibe very well. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I'll do another one of this. I really like this one and I don't want to do too many swings because I already have three, four and essentially this is a swing. 
so there's five so i don't think i i will make another one so i'm just gonna probably do my seagrass mat but before i do that essentially this is what i have going on here i am gonna show you guys the downstairs um how my toys look it's gonna be a bit dark um but i'll still show it to you guys and so you guys can see my setup and the lighting here is not good at all but this is essentially what it looks like how I store my toys this has a bit more of my chunk here wood that I don't necessarily want to put there because uh, I don't know it's just all very heavy and then these are somewhat see on camera it looks really odd because the lighting's not good here but this is my um, pumpkin designs I swear it looks really <laughs> it, the lighting here is really not good but these are oh this was the swing that I was kind of talking about this is the autumnal one again the camera quality is not that good here because of the lighting and I do have a few Christmas there Um, this was the acrylic swings that I was talking about that I already have on my shop Um, this one actually sold it's going to a customer that got my toys from Etsy but yeah I I have those these always sell out um I don't know I think a lot of small birds really like them but there's that and then those are my birds and I still I feel so bad but I have to put blossoms pictured not blossoms oh god Basil's picture there oh gave me a scare from it and this is kind of what it looks like so yeah I do have like the wreath over here these are the forage boxes I made like 20 of this I'm not even kidding you and I'm now down to four and then here's where I put my foot toys like on this tray this was the same tray I got for my birds um but then I got it another one because I really like it it's very versatile it's from the dollar store so these are just where my foot toys are really that's it this is from Ikea but yeah I mean nothing fancy it's just that the lighting here is always so bad so I don't take pictures or anything here but this is essentially how I store my toys. And then the other Christmassy one that I have been showing you guys, that goes here. I, I just have it there in my studio just so it's easier for me to hang stuff on it. But yeah, this is what this area looks like. So I'm back over here. I am going to make some seagrass mats. Um, I'll show two guys how they turn. But yeah, if I have a few cute designs, I'll show two guys. Um, but yeah, so far these are all that i've got i don't know why i didn't bring the <laughs> pumpkin designs downstairs that was dumb anyway i'll bring them downstairs and then i'll show you guys my new seagrass mat designs i did make a few new toys so some they're not completely done so this one like they're not done i don't even see the point in showing it to you guys this is a toy that i still have to decide on what to do with it they're not quite sanded down yet um I like the edge um, softer. The, these are not soft. So uh, this is a personal preference. I know a lot of bird people in the bird community. I don't even know anyone who does it to be honest. Um, some people like this rough edge. And it's still sanded. Don't get me wrong. So it's kind of like this edge. For instance, there's nothing wrong with this. But do you see where, like, I don't know how, oh wait, actually I do know. So I finished these. So do you see? this like soft it's so soft i love it so i and i think that's the one thing with me is that if i find something that i really like even if it's essentially tedious to do i'm gonna want to do it so with this it it's not sanded the way i want so i'm just gonna sand it but i still don't even know what to make with these <laughs> so we're just kind of stuck i think i showed you guys some of the toys i made but some i haven't so let me show it to you guys so these are the two foot toys they're essentially the same but then just different color combination so i'm just gonna put them because i don't want to make two different um listings that just takes too, uh, way too long i'll just take pictures of both of them together and then have people pick between the christmas tree or like the stocking so you know they'll be able to pick which one they want so these are the two foot toys i don't know if i'll make more foot toys but for now these are the two that i have so this was um, some of the toys that I did. So I'm going to uh, take most of the bottom ones downstairs just to store it. I have shown you guys this swing. So these are the new ones that I made. So I was working on my seagrass mats. This is one. 
this is really chunky i know it doesn't really show much on camera but this is quite honestly chunky i fill it up with crinkle, so much crinkle paper and then this i showed it to you guys i had to dye more red food coloring so they're just there there's gonna be a total of eight depending how, on how they sell because i only made eight i don't know it depends so the thing with my shop is that one toy will only sell like five times and then another toy will sell like 25 times so it really i honestly don't know what makes people decide which one's a hit and which one isn't but that's why i'm just gonna start off with eight and if i find that a lot of people like this i'll make more um this is actually quite large it's probably like i don't know i haven't measured it at least because it's way over six inches so at least eight inches i don't know i don't think it's 10 inches but i haven't gotten a ruler but at well over so it's bigger than a phone i'll say that bit <laughs> it's bigger than a phone it's bigger than like um an iphone so there's that and then i got i did this yesterday i actually really really like it so this is what the top looks like it's it's really nice um so some toys I do double sided so this one it's double sided but then some toys I don't do double sided so this wouldn't make sense if I did a double like it doesn't really make sense but with this one it would just look a bit weird I feel like if it isn't double sided it, it's kind of like the same with this like some toys are double sided some are not um this is the other one I made I love this one now I'll I'll give my two cents on it and my honest opinion with the white ivory crinkle paper it stands out more i feel like the christmas vibe and i'll show you in a bit i still love all of them but then with the ivory it stands out way more so this is one of them i'm just gonna take them to the side wait oh, and i'll show it to you guys please don't run and then this is the other one that i made um so with these it looks really nice um but if i were to do like a christmas crinkle paper background with like all red and green it kind of gets faded so i kept it a bit more like the toy parts a bit more natural and then this is another one i made so this is the example of what i mean by double-sided so this is one um that i made and it's double-sided i feel like with this one i have made these types of toys i think Actually, to my best, I made one, but I made it single-sided. And it works, but I don't know. I made it double-sided. The thing is, with double-sided toys, obviously, for obvious reason, you're using more. So it becomes a bit more expensive. So that's the reason why sometimes I prefer, actually, most of the time, single-sided toys. Because it lowers the cost. But those are the three seagrass mats that I did. And then that hey guys um i already released my christmas collection so by the time you guys are watching this it's already out i do want to talk about one thing but i also want to upload this video quickly to my youtube channel because i will be having a black friday sale so you guys could take hopefully advantage of that if i am late uploading this video you guys could still take advantage of my boxing day sale um you know i will be having a boxing day sale pretty much but the one thing i want to talk before ending this video is because i think i have already addressed it but just this week i have seen a lot more people asking questions about it so pretty much it's how i dye wood or i've seen it on other parrot channels like how does she does it um food coloring everything is food coloring there's no other coloring i also don't use vegetable dye uh i have had people ask questions about why i don't want it, it takes too long to I, i'm not trying to be mean i think that's fantastic it's a lot of time to do you know dyeing wood with food coloring but i don't part particularly want my toys smelling like turmeric i mean roses sounds nice but <laughs> you know to get the orange color you know they'll use different um food spices everything to get these colors 100 percent. i have nothing against it i just don't use it it also takes a lot longer mine is just food coloring um so this was the question and i think the reason why people were concerned not necessarily concerned but asking questions is because there's so many different colors so how do i do it i just do it by hand guys it literally takes forever i will admit but it's my vibe it's my aesthetic and i do want to put that extra time in making my 
balsa cutouts turn out the way that they look i want them pretty <laughs> to be honest and i literally have a pinched nerve um which has been a bit difficult because i have been doing all of these and yes i did pinch a nerve and my left hand in particular is always going numb because of it it was mainly because of the christmas collection because it took forever but yeah that's how i do it i'll get like I already have my, I'm going to call it paint brushes, obviously I don't use paint on it, as I have addressed it, I use food coloring, but they are paint brushes, they're very slim, you could get them anywhere, I get mine from dollar store, and I have been using the same one, to be honest, there's nothing wrong with it, um, so I've just been doing that, and I just use food coloring, dip water in it uh, there's like a ratio 115 i've heard 116 ratio but i just dip it and i get different shades i've also answered the question about um pens edible paint that's food coloring they are safe for humans but so is avocado but we can't give avocado technically to birds and that's my same approach when it comes to the pens i don't know the type of ink they use i don't know the type of food safe dye that they use so i don't personally use it but i've heard many people do and i'm not going to say it's unsafe but i just don't know and i the idea that i don't know doesn't sit well with me with my products i know what i use i know the brand that i use i know the water ratio that i use and i feel comfortable providing these to my customers so i do them all by hand and Yes, 100%, they take forever. Um, just doing this batch, um, not even this batch, just doing my reindeer took me three days. Um, and I did like 30 reindeer of each. There's like two. Let me see the other one if I can find one for you guys. Okay, so this and that, uh, 30 of each. It took me three days. I know it's, it seems simple, but because of the precision, it takes like for instance the outline for me and you can see i do have minor mistakes no one cares about it or i like to think that no one cares i'm doing this all by hand so some slight bleeding to the wood happens that is because balsa is very high uh, absorbency let me just zoom out for you guys it's, it absorbs really well but it also sometimes could bleed to like the corners and that's because i have an outline some shops don't like some of my toys don't have an out outline but i'm recently incorporating that more so this one for instance doesn't have an outline um this is a natural toy so i'm not gonna obviously be dying but yeah but with these toys they have an outline and that's when it becomes a tiny bit more harder because i don't want it to get to that outline area i think it looks more aesthetic to leave that area why why would i dye it brown like it wouldn't make sense to me at least um so yeah but yeah i do everything alone i do everything by hand and it does take forever but i already answered this question i think even in this video but i'm just addressing it again all of it is done by food coloring and water i don't use rubbing alcohol there's nothing wrong with it per se i just don't use it my vibrancy with my toys um, with the food coloring that i use is perfectly fine for me so yeah, a lot of chit-chatting, a lot of disclaimers, but hopefully I could get this out by before <laughs> Black Friday so you guys could take advantage of the sales. And again, don't be sad if you miss it because I will be having a Boxing Day sale. Yes, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye.